Have you ever wondered what happened to the biggest snakes that ever roamed our planet? Just think about it for a moment. The awe-inspiring sight of a serpent of colossal proportions slithering through the undergrowth, a living testament to the grandeur of nature. The fascination with large snakes is not a recent phenomenon. For ages, these creatures have been the stuff of legends, inspiring awe and fear alike. Today, we're journeying into a time when these colossal reptiles were not just figments of imagination, but living, breathing creatures. A time when the planet was home to some of the biggest snakes to ever exist. Imagine a world where the Titanoboa, a snake that stretched up to 40 feet in length, was not an exception but the rule. Yes, you heard it right, 40 feet. That's longer than a school bus. Other giants like the Gigantophus and the Madsoya shared the world with the Titanoboa, ruling the food chain with an iron grip. But what made it possible for these snakes to grow to such gigantic proportions? The key factor was the climate. The world was warmer then, with lush, dense forests providing an ideal habitat for these cold-blooded creatures. These favorable conditions, coupled with an abundance of prey, allowed these snakes to evolve into the giants that they became. Their size wasn't just for show, they played a crucial role in the ecosystem, keeping the population of their prey in check and maintaining a balance in nature. They were the apex predators of their time, a testament to the diversity and complexity of life on Earth. But these giants, as mighty as they were, couldn't withstand the test of time. They vanished, leaving behind only fossils as proof of their existence. A world once ruled by these massive serpents now only knew them as legends. So what led to the disappearance of these magnificent creatures? Let's delve into the past to find out. The extinction of the biggest snakes was not a one-off event, but a series of unfortunate circumstances. Let's delve into the key extinction events that unfolded, leading to the vanishing of these once mighty serpents. Our journey commences with a significant shift in the Earth's climate. As the global climate began to cool, these cold-blooded reptiles found themselves in a precarious situation. Unlike mammals that can regulate their body temperature, snakes rely on their environment to stay warm. As temperatures dropped, these giants struggled to maintain their body heat, making survival increasingly challenging. But the cooling climate was just the beginning. The plot thickened as the landscape of predators and prey began to change. The rise of new predators added another layer of complexity to the survival game. These predators weren't just competing for the same food sources. Some were even turning the tables, making these colossal snakes their prey. Meanwhile, the evolution of smaller, faster prey presented another hurdle. These once dominant predators found it harder to catch their meals. The smaller creatures were too swift, too elusive, for the slower, larger snakes. Their size, which was once their greatest advantage, had now become their Achilles' heel. But perhaps the most significant blow to these snakes' survival came from a source that wasn't even around when they first slithered on Earth. Humans. As human activities expanded, habitats shrank and food sources dwindled. Unregulated hunting and deforestation further aggravated the situation, pushing these giant snakes to the brink of extinction. These events, one after the other, led to the fall of the biggest snakes from their reign. It was a domino effect that began with a single change in climate and escalated with the rise of new predators, the evolution of elusive prey, and the impact of human activities. It's a poignant tale of survival, change, and the unforgiving laws of nature. The extinction of the biggest snakes brought about significant changes in the ecosystem. The disappearance of these magnificent creatures left a gaping hole in the food chain, a void that had to be filled, and nature, being the ever-adapting force that it is, found a way. Other predators rose to take their place, altering the dynamics of the ecosystem. In the aftermath of the extinction of these colossal serpents, the ecosystem had to adjust. Animals that were once prey to these giants saw a sudden surge in their population. This increase in turn became a boon for other predators, who now had an abundance of food sources. Over time the ecosystem found its new equilibrium, but the ripple effects of this major shift could still be felt. But let's not forget what led to the extinction of these giants in the first place. Three key factors played a significant role. Global cooling, the evolution of new predators and prey, and human activities. Global cooling hit these cold-blooded creatures hard. As the world's temperature dropped, so did their chances of survival. The evolution of new predators and prey also played a part. As the ecosystem evolved, some animals became too difficult for these snakes to hunt, while others became formidable predators in their own right. Lastly, 
we can't overlook the impact of human activities. Our encroachment on their habitats, coupled with hunting and climate change, proved to be a deadly cocktail for these giants. In essence, the extinction of the largest snakes was a combination of natural evolution and human intervention. It was a harsh reminder of how our actions can tip the balance of nature. Their extinction is a stark reminder of the delicate balance of nature and how each species, no matter how big or small, plays a vital role in maintaining it. The extinction of the biggest snakes offers us valuable lessons for the present and the future. It reminds us of the intricate web of life, where each species plays a vital role. The disappearance of these majestic creatures signals an imbalance in our ecosystems, a red flag that we should not ignore. Our actions as humans have profound effects on the world around us. Deforestation, climate change, pollution, all these factors contribute to the loss of biodiversity. It's a wake-up call, a call to action. Each of us can make a difference no matter how small, whether it's recycling, reducing our carbon footprint, or supporting wildlife conservation initiatives. Remember, preserving biodiversity is not just about saving animals. It's about ensuring a healthy, thriving planet for all of us, for our children, and for our children's children. As we marvel at the tales of these vanished giants, let's remember to protect our planet and its creatures, so future generations can marvel at them too.